What is going on guys? Today is a Friday, just got off of work, and now we are going to head to Sean's house with the NSX, the Spoon NSX. Most of you guys that follow Dustin Williams have seen this dude's NSX, and uh, I've actually kicked it with Sean a couple of times, got beer with him and all that, and he actually came to the house and we kicked it. Cool guy. Now, I'm just gonna grab some basic tools so I can go over to his house so I can do um, his calipers from. Have one of his calipers. And one of the tools that you're gonna need is a flare nut wrench. Oh man, I gotta clean this toolbox for sure. Found it. We're gonna need this. I don't think I'm gonna need power tools. I think he has a breaker bar and all that. Um, we should be good on that. So we're gonna take this dude up there. An hour and 20 minutes to get to his house, but it's better to get there now than um, later. I'm gonna bring those and I should have. Oh, why is this locked? What the hell? The reason why I'm doing this today is because uh, I'm off on the weekend, this weekend. So, okay, cool, I have tools. I'm off this weekend and I need to, what is it called? Uh, I actually need to put the bucket seat into this car and put my roll bar in tomorrow and that's gonna be on a different video. So I'm just trying to get this, help Sean out pretty much with his calipers on this Friday. So when I get off or when I go home, I can sleep in on Saturday, wake up and put all this stuff on. And also Sean does have my buddy club uh, sliders for the bucket at his house, so that's why we're going up there also. So I'm gonna do his calipers, pick up my seat rails. Uh, he's gonna treat me to dinner. And yeah, just uh, check out his uh, Spoon NSX. I've seen his NSX before, he brought it to my house, but I haven't seen it when it's finally got completed with the Spoon Kit. So that's gonna be sick to see. And I'll bring you guys along. Oh, and look, I sell T37s, guys. This is for a customer. Before I go and forget, because the customer's coming here tomorrow morning to pick them up. These are hyper blue. And these are in 15s. So I'll probably show more of that tomorrow uh, before he comes. But uh, anyways, let's get going and um, talk about how these eBay coolers that I picked up actually feel. And I gotta admit, pretty impressed. And this is how they sit. Up, oh, the rears have to raise up a little bit. One thing I'm not too sure about um, is I don't know. I don't know if I even showed you guys or even made a video of me installing the axle back that I have. I'm running a spoon and one axle back, and it's uh, I find it funny because. Damn it. I find it funny because my old coupe had a spoon in one also. So putting a spoon in one back onto this coupe, it really reminds me of my old coupe that I used to have and it had a spoon in one and all that. I am actually beyond impressed with how these uh, eBay callovers ride because uh, for the price, they're $230. And I maxed out the dampen or the dampers on this because it was a bit too bouncy at first when I put it in, which is a bit too soft for my liking, but it's not bad at all. It's actually really comfortable for daily use. Uh, and they feel comparable to my Coney yellow setup that I had on the coupe. On my coupe, I was, on my coupe, I was running a nine to, what was it, 9Ks in the front, 6Ks in the rear. So it was like 1K difference, but these ride nice, surprisingly. God, I hate traffic. They only should have taken me 25 minutes to get to Sean's house, but it's taking me an hour and 10 minutes because of traffic, and it's a Friday. We made it to Sean's house. Look at him. Hey. Yeah, here. How you doing, bro? Good, good. Yeah, check it out. Uh, hold on a second. He has music playing. Most of you guys have seen this car in Dustin's videos. This is the owner, Sean. Yo. So, last time I've seen this car was when he pulled to my house, but without regas, no spoon. Uh, same side skirts, huh? No, these are different. This is different. Stacy side skirts. Stacy side skirts? Yeah. 
I feel like this is gonna be the same video as um, Dustin's. It's gonna be different because we installing the spoon brakes bolt. Hey. And then I got this. Yeah, you got some that already, I think. No? The Gen 3? No? Because I bought your old ass. Your old Mugen one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, is this the same seat? No, this is a different seat. Same dude. Oh, the one I sold you is the passenger, right? Yeah. Yeah, this one's beat. Don't look at it. Look at that dude. <laughs> That's whatever, dude. Came from Japan with that in the car. Yeah. Man, this dude's car is bagged, but. Yeah. Fuck. And what I was explaining earlier, we're gonna be installing spoon calibers on his car. Yes, sir. Which is cool because I've never installed or I never worked on an NSX before. And this is uh, what hood is this? Wait, what? What hood is this? This is actually uh, Saibon. Saibon hood. This is different though, huh? Yeah. So we had the. Uh, carbon this is actually access. all carbon, but I, they taped it off. Clean, 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 but check this out. Most of the spoon bumpers, well, they don't make a spoon bumper for this gen with the pop ups, and they had a SOS Custom modify the whole bumper yeah, it's crazy. to run with pop ups, and it looks so much better. And what's crazy was I was actually talking with them about the paint. They did a really good job because normally when they paint fiberglass, it's a lot, it's like really, really wavy, but this is completely smooth. Those guys killed. Dude, they did. And they didn't even color sand the car yet. This paint came out better than when I got my hatch. Look at this. This is not even color sanded or nothing yet. We'll be going in next week to get uh, paint correctly color sanded and then ceramic coated and all that good stuff. You're gonna have Victor ceramic coated? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Victor's gonna kill it. Iconic spoon mirrors? Had to. I love these mirrors. I can pull up the car after put it put it in the middle anyways. Nah, yeah, that's like fine. We'll, we'll do it later when we finish the calipers. <laughs> spoon rear bumper. Oh, yeah, awesome last time seen yeah I haven't seen this. I saw it in Dustin's video. Yeah. Holy crap. Cool. Titanium? Yeah. Holy shit, that's fucking nice. Like pretzel design. Yeah, this is probably like way more expensive than my hatch. <laughs> spoon rear bumper. Yeah, I wish I want bags now. Let's go. Let's bag. Hey, let's bag EK. Let's go. <laughs> nah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. Too much money. All right. I don't know what else to say. All I can say is this shit's fucking nice. And um, yeah, I can't afford one. But all right, let's go to doing the spoon cap. <laughs> You get kicked out of your own neighborhood. You think? Oh, let me air it out real quick. You're gonna air it out? What's the point of airing it out when we gotta jack it up? Yeah, Alright, just air it out. Go ahead. Right? Alright, go ahead. Yeah, go flex. Flex on everybody. Go. Oh my god, they're fucking. Damn, that thing goes down fast. Super fast. Huh? Uh, Alright, time to air it up. Okay, okay, go ahead. Airing up is boring though. It's dumping it looks so much better. What was that? My fender catch. <laughs> God damn. Shit on your tire. Bro. Is that dog shit? Oh, it is. It is? <laughs> and you're about to touch it too. Here, you ready? Yeah, go ahead. What are you doing? Dude! Get the shit out of here, bro. What the fuck? Oh uh, yeah, I just throw it at the shitty ass <laughs> Civic over there. I think I had lug nuts before. Are my Jays racing lug nuts? Mm -hmm. I try to like take them off without scratching them, but but then I got like fed up and I just said fuck it. <laughs> I don't care about them anymore. But look at these. Chasing Jays. Chasing Jays. Shout out to Chasing Jays. 
Dude, he has really cool stuff. I actually asked him at uh, Chronicles to make me some uh, titanium velocity stacks. Oh, really? Yeah, but uh, I got rid of that setup, so it don't matter anymore. Rip. These don't even weigh anything. Look at these. He got like $2,000 tires on this car. Yes, you do. He got $2,000 tires on those. Look, Advance. Bro. Bro, and you're, dude. That like stunts on me and my homies having R triple eights, man. He got Advance. I actually want to run R triple eights next. Oh man, you're gonna have a bad time in the rain. I feel like these are better in the rain. Yeah, I drove it the other day. It was good. Yeah, don't get R triple eights when you're driving in the rain then. So you sold me your moving steering wheel so you get a spoon steering wheel? I had to, bro. Dude, it's like we swap. Because <laughs> yeah, my car's right? moving, so it's You're funny. Swapping, uh, swapping things. Yeah, yeah, I really need to put my side skirts on now. Watch out, you're gonna scratch them. Super careful, bro. It's like being a little bitch and just, just turn it around. Should I just send it? No, don't. They're actually pretty <laughs> <laughs> These are too nice, dude. I'm not baller enough for a torque wrench either. Really? And you own a fucking, what, forty, fifty thousand dollar, seventy, eighty thousand dollar car now? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't upgraded my tools. Yeah. Well, holy crap. It's dirty right now, but dude, they did a killer job on this paint job. It's like barely an orange peel for not even getting color sanded yet. Dude, you got water in your center garnish. I know. I was just seeing when I only take it apart and paint it out. Yeah, this is easy because it's small. We just throw it in the oven. Just heat it up. Yeah. And then uh, possibly reseal, get re better resealer. Dude, that bugs me. Dude, trust. <laughs> oh, must be nice. Is that a uh, Group M? What's that? Group M intake. No, it's actually a uh, Mugen. Well, downforce style, actually. Oh, at least he admitted it. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, but dude, that's really nice. But downforce is the new. It's like they make parts for NSX mm. that all the copies don't make anymore. Okay, so they're remaking them. Remake stuff, yeah. Which? What was that? You'll see my Jank Airlines setup. Cool, I got that on video. So this oh. guy has Jank Airlines setup. Perfect. This guy's, this car is not what you assume it is. Okay? <laughs> you just, you lay them down, you put them on the wall. Put on the wall, lady. That's straightforward. We might have to cut the shield, huh? Yeah. You have an angle grinder? Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, this is, yeah, it's the same as any other car. Just two, two 17s or 19s back here. Take off the rotor, take off the dust shield, pull that off, put the spoon calipers on. Just like that, look how easy it is. Just like that. Yeah, it's the same shit as a fucking hey. Civic. It'll be done like <laughs> in three, two, one. You should do an edit. edit. Nah. Okay. Look guys, Sean's actually working on his car. <laughs> hey, so you know what happened? Uh, he he made it loose and all for me and then. Nah, dude, not that's even, dude. Coming. What are you talking about? <laughs> he used all his muscles. <laughs> no, dude, that the back two seventeen mil bolts are holding the caliper bracket was a bitch, dude. A bitch. You don't even know. I think he posted a story of me on the ground trying to push it out with my foot. <laughs> Did you actually post it? Not yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we're still letting this one soak in, cause. <sighs> yeah, worst case scenario. Um. I'm probably gonna drill it out. Cause no. it's the only one. You said you bought new ones, right? Yeah. Okay, don't matter then. We'll drill it out. Quick update. Huh? Oh no, I was just filming, you know? I'm just trying to get some content for my videos. That's kind of depressing. <laughs> uh, yeah, so everything's in. Minus the brake pads, which he needs an Allen key. But damn, look at that. Uh, 
Aw, oh, come on. You don't really have Allen keys? I have a standard, dude. I should have brought like my toolbox or something. Hmm. We're gonna get Allen keys too, remember? Yeah. Allen keys and drill bits. Did you tell what happened? No. We kind of. Well, Sean doesn't have tools. <laughs> and we should have done it at my house because I have tools. So, we tried to drill out. We need to drill out the rotor screw. We need to uh, tighten down the caliper. Well, it's bolted down. It's not going to move anywhere. But we need to tighten down the top hex ones. And they're way too big. And Sean doesn't have any damn tools. So, that and then we, got, we need hex keys to take this off. So, we put the brake pads on. So, this literally has no brake pads on it. And he has to run a five mil spacer. Well, this is six mil, so he could clear the wheels. And he doesn't have spacers because he bought these ones, but they're not hub centric. So his car's stranded. Oh, dude, they just scraped? Holy crap. Now we gotta go to AutoZone to pick up tools. That looks so good, though. And he has NSX calipers right here, so. Hmm, might put on the EK. It is the next fall day and I am getting ready to go back up to Sean's house. But with all my tools, like the right tools that we needed because he didn't have them all. Did one side, but we couldn't take the caliper or the brake, um, the two bolts that hold the brake pads in because he didn't have the right hex bit. And we can't tie from the caliper down because he never had the right hex size. But... Uh, it's a Saturday. What I'm doing now is actually getting ready to meet up with the guy that's picking these up. Most of the time I ship them to people's houses. And then, uh, well I have my supplier ship them to people's houses. But this guy wanted to pay me and then pick them up in person. So we're doing that. I only opened up one box. So let's just show you guys. These are brand new in box. These are 15 by 8 Hyper Blues. Really, really sick color. There's a lot of flakes in them. Uh, the camera, uh, the camera won't focus. Pretty cool color. Well, not look. It won't look right on the hatch, but yeah, I'm gonna load the wheels up in the hatch, take the hatch off for a drive, and then go all up the ocean side to Sean's house and uh, yeah, see uh, where uh, or what's going on. Uh, and yeah, so. We are back at Sean's house. And I take the hatch. Uh, it's just kind of dirty. What's up? It's your boy Dut. We're... No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna put that in there. <laughs> yeah, time to finish this side because this guy didn't have the fucking tools. Hey, hey, hey. Tommy for the rescue. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, I know. I brought the drill bit so we could drill out the little brake rotor screw. Real deal. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, jack that bitch up. Let's get back in. Yeah. Oh, it's nice working on the car in the day, though. Real shit. You see everything now. Yeah, like you can finally see the spoon calipers. Yeah, I didn't even look at them yet. Well, who cares? This side doesn't even work anyway. There's no brake pads in it. <laughs> this car's half assed right now. Yeah. This is all the, the behind the scenes that you don't see in everybody else's videos. Yes, sir. I'm actually working on his car. <laughs> I have actually paid Tommy to do this for me. No, he didn't. I'm just kidding. I'm just he kidding. actually <laughs> did sell me his calipers though. That's going to go in the budget car. Yes, sir. So that's good. It's a win-win situation. I get something and he gets something. Next thing I'm gonna get is the spoon calipers or the wing or mirror. Ooh. Look, this guy's so sad that he got grease on his lug nuts. Cause Tommy has greasy fingers. Hey, this was yesterday, man. It's not my fault you didn't have the right tools and then all the brake fluid went on our hands and then you touched your own lug nuts. It was a late night last night. Yeah.
This side is gonna go so fucking smooth. Yes. Compared yes. to the other side. Oh my god. You have all the tools now? No, I don't. I'll be, I'm gonna laugh if I don't. No way, bro. Now we're good. I brought, look, I brought three sets of hex bits. Since this rust screw was stuck and we didn't have an impact screwdriver and it was stripped, we're drilling it out. There we go. That's good. Now, if I... Uh, well, it's spinning right now, so it should come up. It should be free now. It's spinning, but I don't have grip. I need to put a flat head and twist it. Oh my god. And there we go. That screw is out. Just like that. It's pretty much like almost a bit like an easy out bit, but this way it works too and you can fuck up the thread. Look dude, oh. I got it out. Hey, you the man. Yeah, see, only if you have the fucking right tools the other fucking take day. Take the water, man. All right, take the water, cool. Take a break. You see how strong you are. You see how your gains, oh my God, this is where you, oh my oh. God, you cracked your fender. Oh. Yo, oh. you got it, you got it, it's moving. Oh. Nah, bro, I'm tightening it. I'm definitely tightening it, dude. It's going that way. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, let's use this as a reference. This is loosing, right? Look. It has, you have to push it. Wrong, wrong way. Yeah, yeah dude, push I was it. it the wrong way. What the way. fuck? You're a dumbass. God damn it. I had a little spin on it, too. All right, dude, you just it. tightened it more. Oh, my God. I can go the other way. All right. All right, ready? Yeah. God damn. I made it worse. Dude, you fucked. Yeah, you did. It's all right. We got this. No, you got this, because you, you're the one that tied it, so you have to use your own power to unbolt <laughs> it. God damn it. Swage. Swage brake lines? We're going to have to do it another way. What do you mean? I can pull on it so Well, there's no space in there for a brake bar. Let's use that one half. Here goes Tommy. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Five. <laughs> is this fire? Is this metal? Okay. Come on, man. You got it. I made it easier for you. Ooh, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. It's moving. Oh. <laughs> There you go. There, yeah, it should be out. Dude, the last wag almost hit your face. I know. Fucking like toss the shit out of here, dude. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta cut that shit. Wacha! <sighs> Holy shit, dude. This shit's like stiff. Do you want your earrings going bad? You don't hear it. It's not as smooth as the other side. Oh, okay. You probably just gotta replace it later on. If if you need to do the wheel bearing, like if it gets bad, just let me know. I could do you it. You press? I, no, you don't need a press. I have all the tools. Oh, oh man, dude. this is what happens when you work oh, in a garage. Whoa. All right, ready? Yeah, go ahead. Don't air down all the way too fast. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, I think it's gonna hit, dude. Oh no, you're good. Oh my god, dude. If you fucking turn, you're fucked. Dude, that barely cleared that. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, it's aired out. Wait, these are 8 mils though, you know that, right? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Dude, that, that looks amazing. so good. Nice. Now you need some spoon cappers in the back of your car. Just to finish it off. 
finish bleeding Sean's brakes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was a mess because he didn't have like fish hose in the line or whatever. But we're gonna put the wheel back on. Wait, hold on. Put the little caps on it first. Yeah. Can't forget. There you go. Thanks, dog. You're welcome. That's all I came here to do. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna jump jump his car and then he's just gonna drive down the street real quick. And then uh See how the brakes feel. Can't really drive it far because, I mean, you could. yeah, you can, but I'll just wait till Monday. Damn, that looks so good. I'm gonna bring my car over here so we can jump start it because your battery's dead. Uh, I clean my ass a bit. Brakes real quick. Yeah. How's it feel? What? Dude, it's stiff. Like before, did you have pedal travel? Barely. Now no travel. Dude, there's like no travel. I think. Well, you also you also have to break in the pads though. Yeah. Let's uh, take it for a spin. Uh, uh just go right here. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna back this thing up. He's just gonna drive it like around here in his area, so you can see the brakes actually stop. if it doesn't stop. You break. Oh, all right, let's go straight into the wall. <laughs> straight, straight to that point. Yeah, I go into the wall. <laughs> all right. Well, at least move up and see if it stops. Oh, your bumper's so low. Holy shit. Go. Go. It seems to stop. This shit sounds gnarly. Holy fuck. Does this stops? Do you right? Stop. Yeah, it's breaking in. That's why. It's breaking in. Yeah, the rotors aren't that gold anymore. 
They're silver. Really? Yeah. That's fine with me. Just slam on it all the way. Dude, you just stalled your car out. Hold on, bro. Good. Yeah, it stops. Damn, what's up? Let's take a photo together. Let's go. How are we doing this? Last time you see this thing air down. Yeah. Whoo, dumb. So close. Holy shit. All right, well, it's time for me to go home. Yeah, I appreciate the help, man. Yeah. Killed it. Look at that. What? Pleasure working on an NSX. Fun, so time to go home in this piece of shit. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Later.